What is up guys? Hey, today I'm gonna bring you a little Chicano vibes. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do a serape. Is that how you say it? Serape? Serape? Sera. Serape. I don't know, literally. Like this, this is it right there. See the word? Read it for yourself, I don't know. Some really, really interesting stuff you can learn on this video. The main thing is sequential masking is a very fancy word. It sounds like you really know what you're doing. But basically what it is, is painting dark to light. It's kind of confusing if you've never done it before, but if you get it, just, just do it like this. And just watch this video. That's literally what I make these for. Cause I want to help you out. I want to get you to the next level of thinking and creativity and doing stuff that you don't even know that you didn't know how to do that you can do. What? Yes, exactly. So let's get started. All right, for the first one, we're gonna do this guy right here. Basically, it'll almost look just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these different size tapes and basically lay out this pattern. And then I'll come back, I'll show you what it looks like. And we'll, the first layer we're gonna take off, what's the darkest, you tell me. It's a quiz, pop quiz people. What's the darkest on here? It looks like black. So that will be the very first one we take off. Anything which alcohol inks are transparent that you spray over black will just, you'll just be black because it won't show up, which is awesome. Isn't that cool? So take off the black, but first, we can't take it off until we put it on. So let's put it on. All right, I'm gonna just bring you down here, give you my old idea. This really pops, and I think that would be perfect at the top. So my idea is to do the green and then do the blue and then the orange and this right here, solid, not a fan, focus. So I am going to do red and pinks and I think I'm gonna be using, I can't say it, flamingo. First one I think I'm gonna use is the big guy. I'm gonna use him for the top right there like so. Put it across the top. I'm gonna leave a little space because actually my first line right there is gonna be black and you can eyeball it. Or if you need help, try to do like a, uh, a little pencil line around it. Basically, I'm gonna match up whatever my interpretation of these widths of lines are. I'm gonna fill up the entire tumbler and then I'll come back when I have it all filled up and I will show you the first step, taking the first layers off, which will be black. So I, I might have to like write on it as I go down so I'll remember where my sections are. You know what I'm saying? Hope that makes sense. If not, hey, that's what we're here for. Let's go. Whew. Man, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. But literally, you could seriously just epoxy this and then be done. Hey, call it a serape. We're done. Show's over. Let's go home. I'm just kidding. It took me three tries to like test it out and label it with my color that I want to go here, here. And I'm like, and I put it on the tumbler and I look and I count them. And I was like, oh man, I messed up again. So I got it finally figured out. And I had this picture right here to go by. So it's got the lines and you're like, I can figure that out. All I gotta do is look at the picture. Hey, guess what? So was I. I was looking at that picture too and I'm a professional artist. I've taped up stuff. I think of the process and the steps and that's the purpose of this channel is to simplify these steps in this, into such streamlined, little digestible steps and make it easy for you guys. And you'll be like, holy crap, I've never thought about it that way. That looks so easy. I'm gonna try it. So literally I do stuff like this that you don't see off a of camera so that I can figure out because I know every time there is a way and I'm so like determined to discover that way. So I know it's there. So I figured out and then when I do, I share it with you guys, which I love doing. So I said all that to say this, the basics of this, I'm going to make a PDF to you just, it'll be free. You just go download it. If you want to do a Serape, it's a PDF. And basically all it is, is you get a skinny one and I'll try to find links to these to put in the description. So basically, all you have is a skinny, a medium, and then a fatty, which is a plump, a plump. It's not, it's not nice to call things fat. So that being said, I left a little gap on top and I left the bottom. So originally I was thinking just black, you know, then I got thinking I'm going to do the bottom purple with a spray paint right here, the grape. Yeah, grape. And I'm going to do the top right there. 
Maybe if it if this is run out, I'm gonna do it blue. I'll, whatever, go with it. So Ooh. we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna get into the color theory, explain some sequentialness. I just made that up. Let's go. So basically, what I'm doing now is just picking my colors. Create your palette, pick your perfect colors, and then we're gonna start with black. I'll give you a little theory here. Say, for instance, you got your tape on. I don't know why I'm doing my hands like this, but you pull off a section that you want to be yellow, and then you spray it yellow. Right beside it, you pull off the next section and you want it to be orange, and you spray it orange. Uh oh, that went right over the yellow. What do you think happened to that yellow? It turned orange and you've messed it up. Sequential masking, going dark to light, is kind of the opposite. For instance, you did the orange layer. You peeled off all the orange section and you sprayed it. Then you want to do the yellow sections, which is right beside it. You peel that off and you spray that yellow. Whoops, some yellow got it on the orange. Guess what? You'll never see it. It's going to blend in, it's going to look beautiful and your lines are going to be so solid, crisp. All right, so now what we're gonna do is remove all the ones that are gonna be black. Before some dummy painted purple on them, I actually had black dots with my pen of the black ones that I'm supposed to remove. So let's get all these off for black and then we'll get ready to spray it back. Let's go. Uh, man, well, at least it worked. It's time to get the airbrush and spray some black. The black is really gonna help contrast and make those colored sections really pop. So let's go get the airbrush. But before we do that, I wanna tell you that the grappe I used was gloss. So I always like to take and rough it up so it's just not so slicky and shiny and it's better adhesion. So now let's get the airbrush. Nice, light, even coats until you get it saturation or covered as much as you want like that boom we're gonna let this dry and then it whatever just pick a section and go with it i'm gonna start with the green i'll just work my way down this way section by section to the fringe that way you can follow it nice and easy let's go all right so just make sure i want to give you oh gosh give you a pointer take your time and this next section remember i told you i start with the green i'm doing the dark green and then these three, one, two, three, that's left on is the yellow. So what I'm gonna do is kind of, I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit because if you look here, there are three colors, two greens and one yellow, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna take this green, a little heavier here, 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 fade it down. And then when I lay the yellow, I'll, the yellow will blow over that faded down green and give it a, like a, another color. Does that make sense? I hope so. If not, you know, you know what to do. Just keep watching. We here, got like this thing has been a lifesaver. Woo, I spent 10 minutes making sure, double checking, tri tri like quadruple checking that I'm pulling the right ones off. So look, you see how if you do the green over the black, I'm gonna do a little fade here. I'm not really worried about it, but work your way all around. Literally, the black is popping. Just like coloring in the lines, but cheating and not even have to worry about the lines because they're black and you can't see over it. Just work it all around there. I usually don't paint it on this like this because it's kind of weird. I usually hold it in my hand like this, hold it upright. I was just doing that because uh, I just wanted to show you. I figured it'd be easier for you guys to see, but literally it's not easier to paint that way. Just remember, this alcohol ink straight out of the bottle. They're really thin and take your time so you don't run it or puddle it up or get like a little heavy spot. Just keep it nice and even and easy. I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around and I'll see you when I pull these lines off and we're ready for yellow. All right, so now we got the yellow, got the three lines for yellow off and then I'm just gonna, same old, same old, you know what I'm saying? Just spray it, spray over the green. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, this thing is gonna look ridiculously insane when I get done, wow. I think it's gonna be, I'm concentrating, okay? Paint the yellow all the way around. So you got black, white, black, and then this one skinny, skinny right here. That'll be the next one you take off. So, be right back. All right, I got the next layer off. There's five of them, because the darker ones have fives and the lighter ones have threes. Good thing to remember. But literally, take your time, take your time. Oh my gosh, I can't take stress. Don't pull it until you're sure, okay? Just to make sure that you, you know, you measure five times and you cut twice or something, I don't know, whatever. One important thing, I'm gonna move through these kind of quick for the next ones. 
because we still got another one to do with the free hand. But one thing I want to say is when you go to the next one, you got paint right here. Don't go crazy. You can just, I want you to have a little bit more control when you're going like on this next layer. And this stuff's really thin right here. I might have to get a different color. I don't know. Take it nice and slow. Don't pull back too much. Wow, this is this is a really thin color. What is that? Stone washed. If you're wondering, that's botanical. That's regular old yellow. It's like pinata yellow, actually. You could also use lemonade. And this is stone washed. The next blue I'm gonna use is aquamarine. Like literally, just I'll put a okay, I'll tell you what I do. I'll put a list in the description if you wanna. Like a lot of people ask, what color was that? What color was that? A lot of you want to use the same colors and that's, that is cool. That is completely okay. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, let me see if I can get you closer. You see the little dotty pattern right there? That's where it's getting a little too heavy with the spray at one time. So it starts almost puddling. Make sure you take it easy. Uh, if you see that, just stop, let it dry and then come back over it and do another light layer. I want to show you that, okay. Moving on, I'm gonna get this done, and then when I come back, I'll have the light blue layers off. All right, now, I want you to look at this. I literally just told you, be careful, don't get the blue on the other. What happens, it turn green. So listen, look, as you remember, when I was starting, the dark blue was not covering very nicely. I got did a few layers, and then I mixed in some uh, indigo and I got impatient and I started pulling back and going faster. And then guess what? I forgot about the yellow right there. And I literally did exactly what I told you not to do. But to me, I don't care. I think it's fine. And if you really want to like make it less noticeable, you take some of that green and just fade it over and just make it a different shade. It won't be yellow. It'll be like a really, really light green. G -g -g -green. I am cool with that. I think it's fine. I ain't worried about it. Next step is the light blue. Man, look at that, that blue. Wow, you could do the whole cup with that blue with the alternating blue pattern and wow, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I could quit now and then be satisfied because that blue is so stinking beautiful. And literally, if you hadn't noticed the lights in the back, the banner, the little icon on my video, blue, I think that might be my favorite color. So. Anyway, next color is orange. And listen, 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 listen. Okay, I know going over that was not extremely de detrimental, you know, because blue and yellow make green. But this is where you really don't want to, you don't want to do that because orange over blue tends to go brown. And I don't, I don't know about you, I don't really see any brown on that serape. I mean, it could, you can make it up. I don't, if you wanted to, I don't know why it would. I mean, maybe brown's your favorite color, but be super careful on the oranges. Take it really easy. And up here, it doesn't matter, just go crazy. But don't run it, don't get it runny. So this is the dark orange and it is not looking very dark to me. Like I test all these out, but of course, coming through an airbrush is a whole lot less than putting a drip on the table. So may take a few layers or I may have to do like I did this one and mix up a little, uh, just mix up another little color in there. Just put a dropper of something else. I don't know. There's something around here I could put. So just play with it. If you don't like the color, adjust it before you move on. Listen, that's the main thing. All right, moving right along. We are booking through this thing. Uh, not really, but it's fine. You take your time, you let it dry, you peel it off. Just be careful. Uh, don't use your fingernail because you'll scratch here. Just where you overlap the tape, literally just barely get that edge. And then when you get that edge curled up just a little bit, you grab it with your little choisers and then take your time. What I'm doing next, orangey yellowy, like a light orange, which is this color right here. And I think I like that pretty good. It looks good with that yellow down here because it's not exactly the same. It's a just nice, nice little balance there. It is golden, yellowy, orangey, and then, uh, Let's keep moving. All right, I didn't record that red, just to freak some of you out a little bit, because really by now it's pretty redundant. You take off the five, you spray the red, and then you let it dry, you take off the pink. The last three of the color, which coincidentally is Flamingo. So Flamingo is the last color, and you know what they say, Save the best for last. Or I guess that's what you're supposed to say. I don't, I don't know if I believe it, but you know. All right, the Flamingo came out pretty nice, I must say. 
It's very nice contrast to the red. So I took this last little bit of tape off that I got here and I mixed up like a, let me show you, see, can you see that right there? Like a gray color. Yeah, you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fade like a little, and the best idea is to, to angle your airbrush that way, but I'm facing this way for some reason, because I like to not follow my own advice. So let me get over here. I think I do it right here. Let me do it like this. See the little shadow? So why I'm doing that is because if you remember, there's tape right here still, and it's white, and that's white, and that's white, and that's white. So I'm just creating a little separation, kind of like I did on the stars, on the red, white, and blue drizzle dizzle. If you want to see that, just go ahead. There's the picture of it. I have a link in the description. If I remember, if not, just go look it up, you know, it's not. Yeah. So I got that done. I try to make it a little uneven because it's fringy looking, you know. So now we're going to grab our little stencil. We're going to do some uh, fringy thingies. Nice fringe things happen. So I like to take it and move it up and down. You see, it's got a little fringy. You can go a little darker, go a little lighter, but listen, you can always go darker, going lighter, not so much, okay? So, and one thing I noticed on the fringe on this thing is they kind of go a bunch of different directions. So if you want to, you could do one layer around like this, if I get out of the shadow, and then next time, or do one or two like this, like have a crazy one going this way, you know? See, like that, whoa. Okay, this is gonna work. Okay, it is gonna work. Listen, one thing, I know I gave you a hundred one things, but your pink right there above there, you know? I wanna be careful. Just be conscious, okay? Just be conscious of it. When you're doing a stencil, make sure you hold it down all the way or else if it's lifted up, it's gonna kinda be not, not sharp and fuzzy. But I mean, I guess that doesn't matter because it's fringe, really. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Let me get in the, let me hold off some of that light. There you go. Look at that. So I'm gonna fringe this thing up a little bit and then I'm gonna take the white off and it'll look like this. Okay, wow. I'm done and it's so beautiful, thankfully, because that took a hot minute. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna make an executive decision. I'm gonna have to call it. I'm gonna have to end it right here. And I know, hey, let's, oh, shh, 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 stop, 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 stop. I know what you're gonna say. You promised us two cups, two different types of serape. Listen, hey, I'm a man of my word, but not in this video. So listen, I want you to get as much value out of this video and this tumbler as you do this one. Well, I mean, you know, there's really not very much value here now because it's a blank, I hadn't done it yet. But that's why I feel like I'm gonna separate them. I'm gonna do the free-handed one. And I put two coats, two sh 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 the Mate Clear A on this. It's ready to be epoxy. <laughs> not right now, but later, tomorrow, I don't know, whenever I get to it. I want you to be able to get as much value as possible out of each. So you can be looking forward to that one. I'm literally gonna start working on this right now. I'm lying, I'm going to bed but it's fine. Sometimes you don't get as much done as you thought you might, but listen, don't let that discourage you. You just keep inching forward, keep progressing, no matter what you're doing, whether it's with your life, with your family, with your business, with your artwork, with your learning, just keep moving forward and just do your best and feel good about it because you deserve it. You did a good job. I, I, I mean, I, I see everything you do, so. And I literally changed my shirt three times in this video. You probably didn't even notice, but you know. That being said, you saw earlier where I said this pattern took me three tries to figure out. So what I'm gonna do for you, in the meantime of this video coming out, I'm gonna put a PDF of the lines, like a literally big, medium, small, big, medium, small, small, medium, you know, in the pattern that this is, I'll do one with just the pattern and then another one I'll label it with the colors if you want to do the same colors. Maybe not the per se alcohol ink colors, you know, the basic colors, just so you can get a good idea because literally I think that's what took so long is just being really tedious and trying to think and figure it out. And I had like, this is all I had to go by, okay? Which is fine, but it's not the greatest to pick out because you gotta go, oh wait, one skinny, big, medium, medium. This one, okay, there we go. Pull that off, is that the right one? Yes, it was. You know, it's just time consuming to double check. You know, you I checked twice and cut once or something. I don't know, there's a saying about that somewhere. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Watch this video right here, me and Bailey doing the coffee swirl tumbler. She's so stinking cute. And I believe, if, I wanna know your opinion. I feel like her tumbler came out better than mine. So go watch that, enjoy it. 
and be watching for this next Serape. You're like, how do I know? You gotta subscribe. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on, and be notified as soon as I get this bad boy going and you can watch it. Click.